Oh, at last. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I don't know why, but I've bugged out and apparently I've got Dark Ether camo, as you can see on the screen. But I don't because I haven't done the ARs yet, look. That's level 46. But if you go into appearance camo and all the way down here, I've unlocked it. As you saw from the intro, I unlocked Plague Diamond camos for the SMGs. We're one away, boys, from Dark Ether. Well, legit Dark Ether. So we'll go into the classes here. So first of all, we'll start off with the Milano. Go all the way down to the bottom. There we go, that's gold. That's Plague Diamond, which looks naughty. And for some reason, I've got that. Over to the Bullfrog. And that looks pretty cool, but there's not a lot of the little beads. I don't know what they're called. The actual diamond bit itself on there. MP5, I accidentally unlocked this earlier. See, I got, I've already got it, Dark Ether. But that is Plague Diamond. That looks pretty sick, actually. AK-74U, all the way down here. That looks pretty cool as well, not too shabby. And last but not least, the KSP. Awesome stuff. Now, this took a really long time to do. I solidly played this game. All I did was play Zombies for two whole days. It was an absolute chore. But, if you follow this guide, it will be the quickest way for you to unlock Plague Diamond. So, what you're going to want to do to level the guns up first, that's what you've got to do, to get the camos to then unlock them, if that makes sense. Either play via team Dirty Bomb, or if you just want to play Zombies like normal, play Public Match online. Search for a game. This is because, this is the new fastest way of doing it. I'm doing it with all of the guns as well. Because, when you have four players in your lobby, there are more zombies to kill. So basically, you've just got to be greedy and just run around, kill your own zombies, and then go and kill the other guy's zombies. And you'll notice that the guns level up so much quicker, especially if you use double weapon XP tokens. I've used all mine, so I haven't got any left. Level up to 30 when normally, and then activate the double XP, and it'll just keep going up and up. It's so good. The attachments you're going to want to use on the SMGs is any optic, the agency suppressor, or anything that increases the equipment drop rate. You've got the 9.1 inch rifled barrel, the ember sighting point, because that also increases salvage drop rate. Field agent grip for the recoil control, the biggest mag possible, because when you get sleight of hand, it's easy, it's fine. The airborne elastic wrap, or anything that increases your ADS time, and anything that increases your aim, walking, movement speed. It's pretty much the same for all of the SMGs, just copy that class setup for every one, and you'll be well on your way. Moving on into the game, this looks sick in game actually, I really like this. This is my favourite class that I use throughout all of them, the Bullfrog. It's so good. Look at that, 85 round mags, shut up. So we'll go through each and every camo, how to do them, best way to do them, and the quickest way you can do them. That didn't make much sense, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so the first camo is kills, easy. Normal kills, it's literally just 2,500 kills. Next one is headshots. Critical kills, easy, as you've seen there. After you've built up a few points, go into this store with the bunny rabbit on it, run through all the way here, ignore anybody else, plant this explosive for this, run... <laughs> um, okay. Run all the way around here, up here, and just sit in the corner of this little square room, because they will only come from the spawning there, or this way like they are now. And that was three critical kills rapidly, which is also another one of the camos. Simple as that. You've literally got to do that, I think it's 25 times. I'm doing all of this without being hit as well. That is another one of the camos. It's basically, in total, 200 kills with zombies without being slapped by them. Easy enough. It is actually quite easy. If you, as long as you do it in the early rounds, so you don't have to worry about them. They're all walking and stuff, so it's really easy to avoid zombies. When you build up a few more points, open this obstruction thingy. Run all the way here, mystery box, we don't need to open that at all, I haven't opened the mystery box in weeks. Run through here, I don't have enough, but you open this and then speed run it to pack a punch. So, oh shut up mate. As I was saying, pack a punch is now done, pack a punch the gun and now you can start, oh god. Everything is distracting me, go away. Now you can start killing zombies, 2500 while pack a punch. And look at this, when Pack-a-Punch, this SMG, might I add, has 170 rounds. It is just unreal, it's so good. Next of all, what you're going to want to do, from the main place, you run through here to the weapons lab and get Deadshot Daiquiri. Deadshot Daiquiri basically almost gives you aimbot pretty much for the zombies, so you just lock onto the head straight away. 
Headshots. It's so easy to get your headshots done with that perk. You have to have it. So save your points. Don't bother buying jug. So what you got to do is run over here and shoot these little orbs for the coffin dance meme song thingy. Another one up there I just shot. Another one here. Run down here. Shoot the orb there behind the window. And then run over here. Right there. And it'll take us through. While this is going on, I'm just going to run over to this guy right here. And just upgrade my gun so it's more powerful. So that is now done. And it spawns this little box thing here. Spam square right there because it spurts out a free juggernaut. You want to spam that just in case because obviously there's three other people in there. They might be going for it as well. But you just get a free juggernaut which is sick. When you're in public match, I definitely recommend that this is the best place to train zombies. Where the power room is and the pack a punch and everything. Nobody comes down here for some reason. They all hang around upstairs. But look at this. The round has just started and I have all of these zombies. And look how quickly you can kill them as well. And like that, without even realising, you will be completing challenges for one, another one of the camos that is 10 kills rapidly 25 times. That was one already. It's so simple to do. You'll get it done in a game. Okay, so this is the final camo to unlock. You have to kill 15 of these big guys right here. They're actually quite easy to kill. If you, as long as you just keep moving around, they'll kill. They won't kill you. And the equipment that you're going to want to use. So I've used the, I've used the aura health aura thing, that thing, whatever that is, because a lot of teammates get down. It's really easy to revive them if you just do that. Automatically revives them if you didn't know from anywhere on the map. And you use stun grenades as well. Like this guy. This guy's using the ring of fire, so it's sick. It's so easy to kill them. So you don't actually need to use it yourself because a lot of people use the ring of fire. And what you're going to want to do for those big guys, I couldn't really show it because that guy came in and killed them, he is using stun grenades. They're so effective against the green guys because they get stunned and you can just stand there and melt them while they're stunned. And that is 15 times. A lot of the camos are the same as the LMGs and the ARs and stuff. They're just... They're really easy to do. It's just because there's so many. There's five SMGs. The bit that takes the longest for the SMGs is just leveling up to level 50. But once you've done that, it's plain sailing. You just have to get 2,500 kills, 2,500 headshots, 2,500 pack-a-punch kills, three headshots rapidly 25 times, 10 rapid kills 25 times, and then obviously you've got to kill 15 of those big guys. And then the last one is 20 kills without being hit. You, and you have to do that 10 times. So it's actually relatively easy to do. The only thing is, a minimum of 12,500 kills to get all of the kills for... all the camos for the kills for the SMGs. And obviously, you're going to have to get more than that because you have to get kills and then you have to make your way up to Pack-a-Punch. Get out of the way. And then start getting the kills for the Pack-a-Punch. So you've literally got to get, like, 20,000 kills. There's no real quick way of doing it. You can't do it in an hour, obviously you can't, that's just unrealistic, but following this guide you will get it done in no time my friend, you know it. And look at this, I'm down here, how many zombies there are down here? All the players are upstairs, you can see them over there, I'm just down here chilling on my own. So many zombies in here, it's awesome. So thank you very much for watching. Nice old nuke to end the round and the video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.